Give us this day our daily international bread. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Bread. It does everything. An edible home for your burger patty, an edible yeah. plate for your butter and jam or yeah. jelly, an edible pillow for the night you cry yourself to sleep. Oh, but in all of those examples, you know, bread was just a sidekick. Okay. Yeah. It was a backup dancer. Yeah. It was the girl next door. Whatever. But what if bread was the hero? Oh. What if it was the main squeeze? What if it was the international superstar? That's right. We've got front row seats to the Worldwide Bread Show. Oh. <laughs> It's time for Where, Where in the World Do These International, international bread, bread Dishes Come From? You know how this works. We're going to try some unique bread or bread forward dishes. A bread forward dish. What you, what? Don't be pointing that like a, like a needle towards me, man. I'm your friend. Get scary. How's, how's that make you feel? Fine. <laughs> Bread and bread forward dishes from around the world. We're gonna throw a dart at the country we think those breads are from. And then our sweet baby Chase Berry Doughboy cartographer <laughs> will measure how far our dart landed from the right answer. Whoever has the lowest score wins. Hey, Chase Berry. What right, up? Buddy. You ready for my rye wit today? Oh, no. man. Sweet, sweet baby Chase Berry <laughs> Bread Boy. <laughs> All right, I'm on the last time, so mm -hmm. you get the special advantage, Dart. The sourdough head starter. That sounds messy. Whoever wins gets a coating of breadcrumbs. Let's do this. Oh, hey, that sounds like something Chase would say. <laughs> oh, that smells so good. It's, is it garlicky? Yeah, is that, a whole, is that full cheese in the middle there? I feel like you could just grab it and crack it open like a... Oh, oh, my, oh, 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 look what just happened. Oh, Did the you whole, see that? The whole top of Was it. Was it supposed to do that? Can I have, can oh. I, oh, wow. I think it's actually pre-cut, and then it, that's just like a cheesy. What is that? This might be the best bread that's ever existed. Is it, it's butter inside a bread. It's pre-buttered bread. It's like pre-blessed food. That's oh, it's cream cheese, friend. Mm. Mm. Very oh garlicky. Gosh. It's like Good garlic cream. bread with cream cheese built into it. This is great. Or what you might call a revelation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you go first, Link, because. Good golly. You might say, golly! Man. How come I've never heard that before? Is it a revelation? It's a revelation. There you golly. Go. Oh, man. Well, we've got Peru, we've got the Dominican Republic, Libya, Norway, Hungary, South Africa, Nepal, Malaysia, South Korea, New Zealand. I like to give an overview. Thank you for giving that. Hungary is calling my name. There's no, it, I mean, it's very savory, very bready, very mm, European. Well, you know what else There's might be nothing calling, else. calling your name? Is, uh, Chase, I heard that you worked out something with your dad and that you've uh, granted him a cam. Yeah, I think he was a little jealous that he's very local and didn't have his own cam, but yep. your your parents who are oh. outside of the country did. Well, where is it? Hi, Chase. It's me, your dad. Oh, hey, Dad. Well, there it I've is right so there. I've heard so much about your work, and I am really excited to finally be here to see you do it. <laughs> wow, he's yeah. next. He's wow. never watched. Before. He's never watched the show. <laughs> no, no. You gotta give him a cam. More a few years ago, he never actually watched it. He's a cam dad now. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Sure. Joining the club. Careful. Get all three of them together. Don't go to camdad.com. Um, yeah, I'm definitely thinking Hungary because, for the reasons I've already stated, which may have not been any. I'm Hungary for Hungary. A little high. Tell me really I'm wrong. Good shot. Oh, that was. Oh, was thanks, helping. Chase's dad. Yeah, that was very nice. I'm not usually that nice to him. Your it's dad has a great voice. I know it sounds like Chase, but six inches taller. <laughs> yeah, but it, it sounds like the voice is coming from a slightly different, higher place. Um, similar <laughs> tone, though. <laughs> that could just—is that him laughing? <laughs> That could just be you laughing. Is he dude. okay? <laughs> it sounds like he might be choking on something. Uh, I think Hungary's a good guess because 
This feels <laughs> decadent and European. That's what I said exactly. But although uh, I don't know too much about Hungarian cuisine, I will say I would not be surprised if you told me that they did this in New Zealand but New Zealand is such a risky guess. Ooh, you getting scared to be to take the risk? Uh, yeah, that, that kind of taunting doesn't work on me. The reward, <laughs> dude. Um, I think I'm just gonna go a little bit lower just in case it is New Zealand. I'm a little bit closer to it. So I'm kind of going for east of Hungary. Oh, and you've done it. <laughs> okay. Whatever that is, let's note it so we can get it again. Yeah, I mean, look at that, man. You just had cream cheese garlic bread. This savory treat is made out of a round milk bread loaf stuffed with a garlic cream cheese filling and topped with herbs. It's a popular street food in mm. South Korea. Really? really? South Korea? Nothing seems South Korean about it. The sense of adventure and the willingness to put that much cream cheese inside garlic bread, that feels like it could be a South Korean thing. All right, 31 for Link, 22 for Rhett. Mm. Okay, all right. Great work. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds just like Chase. You in the mood for some swirl? Uh-huh. Oh, there's, there's two a, types of squirrel. There, swirl. <laughs> the squirrel bread. So there's a, a brown swirl and a dark swirl. Are you going for the dark one? I'm gonna eventually go for both of them. I think it's cinnamon swirl. Mm-mm. Taste the dark one, though. That's a nutty swirl. What is this black stuff? So you're winning, so you're going first. I am i don't want to say anything that I'm thinking. Wow, okay. Well, when I first saw this, the dark stuff, I thought it might be a bean paste. I, that's what I thought. But then I tasted it and I'm not so sure. How was that camping trip with Rhett and Stevie? I bet you three had a real blast. <laughs> I think yeah. he's talking to you. Yeah, he's, he's talking to me. I'm sorry about that, Link. He, you yeah. went, you're saying you went on a camping I, trip with Rhett and Stevie? I know, we weren't supposed to talk we about it. But. Chase's dad wasn't supposed to say anything about yeah, it. That was, I didn't know that happened. There, dad. I didn't even know that that was like lore worthy. I wasn't, yeah, to even was say just, something like that. The three of us having a good weekend. Kind of hurts. <laughs> I mean, we, you know, the thing is, is that we got rained out. We ended up going to the, like this five star hotel instead of camping. Yeah, it's um, very Troop Beverly Hills in that way. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Unexpected for it to, for it to rain in the Palisades. <laughs> um, Do you think you know what the blackness is? I well, it doesn't taste like a bean paste because I would say Mal I would say Malaysia, but something about the str uh, is this I, I want to say strudel strudelness of it sends me back to Hungary where we were a second ago but with a little bias towards Malaysia because that might be bean paste. So I'm basically gonna throw it exactly where I threw it last time, maybe a little bit closer. Uh, Can you see the hole? Oh, oh too a little low. low. You know what? I think it is bean paste. I still don't know what the, what the other stuff is. Yeah, so I'm gonna go all the way to Malaysia. Go. Oh, shoot, I didn't wanna go that low. Are these heavy darts today? Because we're both going low. Yeah, I know. It's Heavy darts. You know, we need to aim through the board. You guys just had a bagley derived from a German expression meaning bending. A bagley is rolled up a rolled up loaf traditionally filled with walnut or poppy seeds that is enjoyed poppy during seeds. Christmas, Easter, and wedding celebrations in Hungary. Oh, Hungary! Yeah, see, because of proximity to Germany, man. Poppy seeds, huh? Yeah, don't eat these and then get a drug test, man. <laughs> I can't believe they said that. <laughs> <laughs> so interesting. Rhett, you have 13, and Link, you baguette 37. Ooh! Dang, you're, you're getting hammered. Okay, whoa. Nicole just gave us a little tutorial. She said, eat this with your right hand, only your right hand, no utensils. Okay. Uh, and to use the bread to get the other thing. So you're gonna like kind of- This kinda, is a big thing of bread. I, I, I like a big thing of bread. Like take this and then like grab. Ooh, it's like very doughy, which I love. And this is some special meat here. And there's, there's a potato here and a hard boiled egg. Oh my gosh. 
Woo, that's oh, spicy. Oh, man, that's good. It's spicy. Uh, no, I'm supposed to stick with the bread, but the meat is so good. It's gotta be a beef. All right, I've got some, some, uh, some context clues here. And I'm gonna get some more of this bread. And honestly, and some more of this spicy sauce. I think I would have. I think I would have been able to make an informed guess on this one, even without uh, mm. Nicole's hints here. But you know, Chase, something about your dad is he kind of has a TV dad voice. Like, couldn't you see him like helping like a high schooler through something difficult on like a it like a sitcom from the nineties? It's yeah. very kind. And here in LA too, so I guess that kind of makes sense. Chase's dad. What do you think about that? Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> he, so he agrees. Like yeah. Yeah. You, you, you agree. You've got a you, you've got a very kind voice. It's very nineties TV dad. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Man. Based on the prescription to eat this with just your right hand, I know we're probably in an area in the world where there's sort of you know customs about what you do with the right hand and what you do with the left hand. So I'm thinking. North Africa feels like a strong guess, right? We're in Libya territory. Also, this is similar, this is like a slight alteration of what you would expect from Ethiopian food, which is like where you have the giant pancake stuff on top of it and you use the bread to get it. This is like, sort of like a precursor to that almost. So, I mean, yeah. I'm using all that to go for Libya and boy, I'm not throwing the dart very well tonight, but I feel- Throw like through the map. Tonight, I said tonight, I don't know why, <laughs> today. <laughs> Like, cause you're watching us. Boom. Oh, okay. All right. Was that Chase's dad reacting? I think so. Yeah. He got hit. You have something to say? Well, yeah. Cause I, for me, when I was thinking about the only use your right hand, not your left hand, I, I, I started thinking about Nepal. Uh, that could be goat meat, for all we know. It doesn't have any gaminess to it, though. No. So, hmm. See, I'm, I'm, I'm really losing ground here, big time. So if you're right. This could be my opportunity if it's Nepal. And that's what my gut tells me to do. And I'm listening to my gut. Your gut says Nepal? I'm going for Nepal. All right. Squarely. <clears throat> oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that was really rough. Oh, yeah, really rough. Yeah, We're having, having a tough I dart day. I kind of agree, yeah. Gosh, this is, this is a tough one, man. Shoot. You just tried bazine. This unleavened bread dish is made by boiling barley flour and salt and water and beating it with a stick until it develops into a dough and then is baked or steamed. Served with a tomato-based stew, potatoes, hard-boiled eggs, and mutton, this dish is popular in Libya. Yeah. Oh, so this is mutton. So you were right, but it was it's sheep, huh? All right, Rhett, you had eight. Link. 35. Not looking good for the Linkster. We got a little roll up action, right? Taquito? It just, I mean, it's just a rolled piece of. I don't think you should have done that. Oh, unrolled it? If you did that, if you unrolled that in front of the person who made it for you, like, which in this case is Nicole, I think they have the right to come in and slap you. This is, this is simple. I like that. But nice, quite a bit actually. It's, it's like, like a, before I even it's thought a about cinnamon, it. It's a cinnamon butter roll up. This has got to be Peru, right? Okay. It's got to be. But why? Because of the tortilla. I'm just hoping it's somewhere else that I can like make up some ground. <laughs> like, where else could it be that there's any hope of me like bridging the gap here? Maybe maybe New Zealand. Sixty centimeters. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm going on a wing and a prayer, and a nice little slice of kiwi. <laughs> it's going. He's doing it. Hey, if it is New Zealand, I'm going for New Zealand. You've made up a lot of ground. Yeah, I've got to. I've got to go for it. Now don't miss the board because it's an automatic fifty if you miss the board. <gasps> Oh, well. that feels unfair. We're trying to, we also trying to scare. That each feels other unfair. Once in a while. <laughs> yeah, oh, that, he's just trying to scare you, not Link. Yeah, it's just it's a game we play. Okay. Yeah. Tell him to t tell him to pipe down. I'm in a bad way right now. New Zealand in the bottom right corner. Boo! 
Oh, God. Man, it, you almost left the earth. <laughs> yeah. You got real close. I didn't appreciate that. So I was trying to get him back. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. It was, that was for his dad. You? That was for his dad. That wasn't for you. This traditional flatbread is known as lefsa. In modern times, this tortilla-like bread is sometimes made with potatoes incorporated into the dough and can be enjoyed plain, sweet, thin, or thick, commonly eaten with butter, cinnamon, and sugar, or stuffed with cheese and meat. This Way versatile bread can be found in Norway. Norway! Oh, see, I did have an opportunity. You did. No tortilla. It's well, tortilla-like. Tortilla -like. Ooh, this is not going to be pretty. I think you're still further <laughs> away. Uh, Rhett, you had 38, and Link, 63. Ah, oh, <laughs> put me out of my misery, man. It, you know what? You're sinking into my heart. Hey, I, I hate to say this, but it actually would have been better to miss the board, because you would have just gotten... I know. <laughs> just just, just, just plunge it into my throat. I, I can't do that to you. You want more bread? Well, check out sport.com, Mythical's new site, where you can find a ranking of the best gluten-free bread and an argument for choosing frozen garlic bread over fresh homemade garlic oh, bread. Oh, if you're, if you're a gluten-free person, yeah, see, we're here to help you. The team over at Sport, they're always tasting through new foods and posting about their expert opinions. You can visit the site and be sure to follow them at Sport for behind-the-scenes looks at their taste tests and more. Give it a gander. Sport.com. This is pretty. We got like a... We got some jalapenos. It's like a fry bread thing. I would call this like a chalupa. I'm moving this stuff to the edge so I can get a little bit of everything. Honestly, this show is a lot better than you said it was. <laughs> Chase, what you been saying about your show, man? Uh, I mean, I call him all the time and sometimes I just have to vent about just the way things are, I don't know. I, you know what, I get it. <laughs> I get it. You know I love you, son. Thanks, Dad. You kind of just screwed me in front of the bosses, but thank you. I appreciate but it. It seems like you guys have a great relationship, though. Your dad seems to love you so much. That's I so do. Sweet. I love you, son. <laughs> <laughs> it feels earnest. Does he really love you, though? I, I'm pretty sure he does. Whew. This is technically the mystery realm, which <clears throat> means it's oh, not... That was hot, now I'm hiccupping. It's not labeled up there. <clears throat> I technically have the cheat. <clears throat> um, the jalapeno got me. It just feels unfair for me to use this cheat given how far ahead I am. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to offer you this cheat. I'm sorry. Maybe if you drink, if you take a little bit of this. This is a, basically, I, I don't know the fancy name we're giving to this. I forgot. But this is a sourdough starter. I'm having a tough day. And you're going to throw this at the board. Here's what I'm saying. I am. You have to name the country and hit it. This is a chalupa, I think. So I'm going to just throw it at Mexico. You have to hit the country and also guess the country correctly. Okay. But I'm going for Mexico because that's where uh, I know that you can get something like this. But I'm assuming it's probably somewhere else in Latin America. <sighs> okay. Uh, woo! Oh, right in the middle of the United States. Okay. You hit Colorado, I think. Should I just call Mexico? May you know, maybe it's that simple. So I'm not going to overthink it. Hmm. Mexico. I heard you talking in your sleep again last night. Yes, I do think you should apply to be the next bachelor. <laughs> I agree with that. that. That's just a dream. I mean, I'm, I'm happily dating. <laughs> I don't happily need, dating. Thanks. I don't need to go on the bachelor. Mm. All righty. Oh, oh gosh, this is gross. This is, this is like snot. You know what? I'm gonna change my answer to Argentina. Booyah. <laughs> Chase's dad likes that answer. No, I'm going to change it back to Mexico. No. <laughs> I'm <gonna> Mexico. Go. <laughs> 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 I tell you, man. Well, that's, when it rains, it pours. Right, listen, I, gave, I, I, I left the door open. Did he get any on the board? I see zero. Hey, listen. You know what, Chase? You can, can measure, measure from the post. <laughs> you can measure from the pillars that hold up the earth. Okay. Really good shot. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> He's so positive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that just seemed like such a weird ritual, like Mexico, and then you just... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mexico. <laughs> Honestly, when I threw it, I thought it just all disappeared in midair. <laughs> I was looking at Mexico, waiting for anything to hit it. <laughs> this dish features tomato, sour cream, jalapeno, lettuce, cheese, and ground beef on top of fry bread, which is made from white flour, processed sugar, and lard. And it is known as the Navajo taco. This ingenious fried dough dish was born from government rations and is now a cultural touchstone and a symbol of pride and unity for the Navajo Nation within the United States. (laughs) (laughs) And more specifically, like almost exactly where your dart is. Yes. Yes. Is that my first ever bullseye? (laughs) I'm sorry, Link. (laughs) Chase, just measure from my dart. I just finished reading the fanfic you wrote about Lincoln, that jar of peanut butter. <laughs> You're so talented. <laughs> I wrote that a while ago. <laughs> that, so that's who wrote it. <laughs> All right. Link, you had 58. And Rhett, Kala, which is type of bread, you got zero. <laughs> hey, man. I mean, that's... Congratulations. Okay. You did it. That means I win a coat of bread crumbs. <laughs> Check the designer label. Oh. Louis Croton. <laughs> like Crouton. A coat of coating of breadcrumbs. Wow. Man, it smells I am, great. I am so jealous this right is, now. Oh, this isn't going to get on anything, is it? Uh, it might get ingrained in that chair. Great work. Thanks, Chase's dad. It feels good. <laughs> yeah, me too. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hello, my name is Khalid, and I am enjoying a milkshake in the beautiful Maldives. At this time, it's been the wheel of middle county. (laughs) Wow. That kid's going places. (laughs) Yeah, Maldives. Ain't nothing to sniff at. Click the top link to watch us guess celebrity bread pun names in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. Want to know the best root beer to buy or which Trader Joe's cheeses make the cut? Well, check out Spork.com, Mythical's new website, and get behind the scenes at Sporked on TikTok and Instagram.